Hello everyone, this is Shion. You are watching Tech for Trick and welcome back to another fresh video of Linux. In this video, we will learn about how to activate or enable the fingerprint login in Ubuntu. Well, I have already done that and let me show you an example of that. Just open a terminal and type sudo apt-get update. Normally, it will ask for the sudo password, right? But this time it will ask for the fingerprint. Let's see. See? So I am swiping my finger and it will detect that if it matches, it will perform the task. That's it. I have written this block for you. Here you will find all the commands and the link is in the description box below. And I'll follow this blog. Okay. So let's open a terminal and type ls usb that is for list all the usb devices just hit enter and it will list all the driver on your machines and here we can see the fingerprint sensor that is this one and please remember this id that is 0c4f this device id okay now please do not skip any part as i said earlier i have already done it and i am going to run the commands for you and the commands are in this blog post okay so what is the plan the plan is we'll uninstall two packages for fingerprints and then we'll reinstall it with some modifications and then we'll add our fingerprints and then we'll add our fingerprints to the authentication module and then only we can use our fingerprint for authentication so first we we'll uninstall these two packages okay and so for that just copy the command here and paste it right here okay so as i said earlier i have already set my fingerprints and i don't want to uninstall that so i'm going to abort that but for you you have to press y to continue it will uninstall these two packages and then we'll do some modifications and we'll install it again. So now we have to install git. Why? You'll get to know. So copy the command from here and paste it right here. And we are done because I have already installed the git. And now we are going to clone two packages from git. The first one is this one and the second one is this one. See? Copy the comments from here and paste it right here. Okay. As you can see, the destination path already exists. For you, it will take some time to install all the packages. So do one thing. Just copy it here at once and just paste it here. And it will do perform all the tasks. You, you don't have to worry about that. Now you have to add something to this header file of the elan drivers. So how to do that? Just copy this command from here and it will open the header file of elan drivers. So copy it here and paste it in the terminal and it will open the header file. Okay. Here you go. And you have to search for this line. Okay. And here you have to copy this line including this comma and copy this and you have to paste it above this line just like this okay it will add our device id that was right here 0 c 4 for f to this header file okay now save it and close it we are done now we have to install the gtk doc tools so copy it from here and paste it here we are done it will take some time for you to download all those packages based on the internet speed but don't worry it will be working fine and after that we have to copy this whole command at once copy it and paste it right here and it will install all the necessary packages so it will take some time don't worry and after that we have to install the library and daemon and for that you can execute this command one by one or you can just copy it at once and you can paste it right here okay 
So I'm going to abort this because I have already done that. And after that, the main part is to add our fingerprint module to the PAM authentication. Well, what is PAM? Basically, PAM means Pluggable Authentication Module and it determines how the authentication should work. For that, we have to copy this command from here and paste it right here. As you can see, just press enter and it will open the PAM configuration. In your system, by default, it will be disabled like this. So how to select that? You have to press the space bar to select that like this and then hit enter to confirm it and we are done. And the next thing is to reboot. You can write sudo reboot in the terminal or you can restart the machine from here. And after the reboot, it is time to add the fingerprints. For that, open settings and go to users and then you will see fingerprint login has been disabled. Don't worry, just click there and you will get to see a window like this. So let's see. Go to settings and go to users. We are here and for me it is enabled, right? Because I have already set a fingerprint. For you it will be disabled. So don't worry, just click here and click on scan new fingerprint and I'm going to scan a fingerprint for you. And this time I'm going for the left ring finger, okay? And here it will ask you for your password. And here you have to enter your password, your default password, right? So I'm going to enter my password here and click on authenticate. And one thing you must remember that you have to slide your fingers on the fingerprint sensor from up to bottom or downwards, right? Unlike Windows, it does not detect any finger by only one touch. You have to slide it down from up to bottom. If you try to just touch it while registering, then the sensor might freeze and then you have to reboot the system in order to use the fingerprint. Click on done and we are absolutely done. Close this window and close these settings. Just log out from your machine and try to log in and it will ask you for the password or it will ask you for the fingerprint. You can also use the fingerprint for any kind of system authentication as you have seen earlier. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. And if you have any doubts, feel free to comment down below. I make videos about Linux, machine learning and some programming stuffs. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel and please share it with your community. See you in the next video.